Before today, I really thought Kalamazoo was mainly a college town. I thought I was gonna walk around and see all these young students walking everywhere. But when I got there, it was completely the opposite. It was people there rooted in community and caring and bringing culture to Kalamazoo. Lee's Adventure Sports hooked me up with a kayak and it was the best way to arrive at Arcadia Hales. Jason, how you doing, man? What's going on, brother? You must be Tim. I am. Tim, nice to meet you. Nice man. to meet you as well. What's I see you on? got a nice cold beer in front of you. You know, it's the IPA, and I, I'm a huge IPA guy, so as soon as I saw it on the board, I'm like, I have to give it a try. Cheers, Cheers. to that. But this is my first time definitely being at Arcadia. What should I be doing in Kalamazoo? At this time of year, the, the options are wide open, but with the weather nice, from kayaking on the river, and just enjoying all the outdoor space, but just also to take advantage of, of uh, the change in seasons and what it brings to, to uh, the community and certainly in the beer community. So, wow, This is awesome. I'm going to come back tonight and I'm going to fire up that fire pit and hang out and have a couple more beers. Awesome. Tim? Yeah. Thank, thank you. For your time. Appreciate man. it. For everything. So my question to you is, have you ever smashed a guitar? We talked about this. Have you ever, like... I have not. I've heard it's really hard though. I have friends who are touring musicians who have, and uh, it's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> right, right. My next question was, is there one around here I could smash? Definitely not. <laughs> After that, I went to Heritage Guitars on the former site of Gibson Guitars. That hands down was one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had in my life. The attention to detail and craftsmanship that went into each guitar was amazing. Behind you is this really cool piece. Every once in a while when you're talking about custom guitars, we'll pull some special wood. This is Western Maple from Oregon, and you can see all this edge here. This is what gives it, when it gets sanded down and finished, you'll see all sorts of flame or figure in the, the wood. Um, and that's actually what this stuff is here on the side. So this is a pretty raw piece of wood. This usually is what happens when we do a custom guitar. Somebody's looking for a specific top. Really, this, this place is a working museum right. every day. Right. Um, and, and that's kind of our job is to keep that alive and uh, and continue to make sure that Kalamazoo is a, a home for guitar. Right. This was mind blowing. Like honestly, like for me, I've done a lot of stuff, but this was easily one of the most fascinating things I've ever done in my life, man. Like music for me is top notch, so to see the inner workings of really what an instrument does is... It was a pleasure having you. Feel Thank free to come you. back whenever and... Uh... We'll get you practice here. Yeah, yeah. Some of them. oh, I'll be back. Like I said, now I want to live out my high school dream and I'm definitely going to start playing guitar. We'll make you a custom one. <laughs> I'll get the money. Thank Perfect. you. Yeah. Even though I don't eat pizza every day, it's still a huge part of my life. So it was an important thing for me to stop by Shakespeare's and grab a slice. They were cool enough to take me down to the kitchen to show me how to make the pie. What do you think are the keys to a good pizza? I think the, good, the keys to a good pizza are honestly like having it set up so you're making it the right way because certain crust and also like a nice balance of crust, balance of cheese and balance of sauce and using all those ingredients the right way, like different crust, different makeup of crust and you want to cook differently, different temperatures, different times. Gotcha, gotcha. After an amazing day hanging out, there's no better way to end the night with, with a cocktail from Stamped Robin. Matt over there introduced me to A, my favorite drink of all time now, but he also broke it down for me how important it was for them to bring what they had learned in other places back to the community in Kalamazoo. You know, I was walking around the neighborhood and I see just a lot of stuff going up, building. You know, are you, how does that, how do you guys fit in that mold of the community? We love what's happening in Kalamazoo. You know, this is, uh, being born and raised here, this is probably the most exciting time that I've ever seen it. Okay. You know, it's dynamic, it's, it's uh, inventive, it's youthful. Let's get a cocktail going on. Talk me through it. Okay. So I'm gonna make you a stirred drink. This one's called the Boomerang. Boomerang, okay. The goal for us 
is to make this feel like a living room, right? It's this idea that you know, this doesn't need to be complicated. See, that's the, that's the fortunate thing is that uh, this is the living room you didn't have to buy furniture from, you know? You didn't have to go out and antique uh, <laughs> for years. And that is a boomerang, my friend. Wow. Here it is. Whoa. <laughs> this is amazing. I'll tell you, three ingredients. It's all you need. Thanks, buddy. Cheers. Yeah, appreciate it. You know, wherever I travel to a city that is sort of like, not off the beaten path, but not traveled to very often, it's always refreshing when you get to come here. I went to Arcadia and had amazing beer. Went to Heritage and had my mind blown about the actual art of guitar making, which I had no idea about. Just went and had awesome pizza at Shakespeare's and then finish off my day here with this. I mean, once again, cheers. There's nothing else I could ask for. Thank you. I think you did Kalamazoo right today. Man. I will be back, trust me, like sooner than later. Good deal.